Hey guys, Smoke and Briar coming at ya. Hope you guys have been doing well. I haven't seen you in a while, but... Whew, I'm going to make a video today here, and I'm um, going to do a little experiment. Um, first of all, I wanted to mention something that um, a lot of you guys may have seen it on Instagram. If you follow the Boswells uh, channel on Instagram, um, but if you have not or do not follow them or haven't seen it yet, um, their dog Titus, the big husky, who they named a blend after, after sorry, um, he passed away on Friday, and he was the shop dog there for many years. He was a very good dog. Um, those of you who've seen him know how enormous and huge that guy was. He was a big dog. But the Boswells are taking it pretty hard, so if you um, check them out on Instagram, make sure you leave some uh, some good words for the Boswell family for the loss of Titus. He's like an icon in the, in the pipe community and those who visited the shop. But um, anyways, um, Today I've been smoking some of this Carter Hall and uh, smoking it in a Grabo, Dr. Grabo. Um, fairly new pipe. I haven't smoked very much out of it at all. Um, and there was a reason for this. You guys are probably saying, hey, you can't smoke Carter Hall. It's got too much nicotine in it. Well, here's the thing. A fellow contacted me on my YouTube channel here. I don't know who he is. Um, I just know his name and everything, but he asked to remain anonymous and not to mention his name. Um, he doesn't make videos and he only has a few subscribers, but he linked me to a video um, here on YouTube. Um, it's not a real good quality video. It was shot with, you know, very low quality. Um, but this guy that shot this video... Um, he made this video to show how you could get rid of nicotine in pipe tobacco. And I watched it and I kind of was like, mm, I don't know about all this, you know. But the guy, uh, the guy who showed me, you know, who sent me the link, he actually tried this and he said it worked. He said it worked. So I want give to give it a shout to you guys. I asked him if it would be okay if I did this video, you know, and he said, sure, go ahead, you know, because I wanted to get this out there to some of you guys that may have this same issue with uh, with nicotine, either because you're sensitive to it or because, in my case, you know, your um, health conditions um, will not allow you to smoke it. So I smoked some of this Carter Hall. I smoked it for about 15 minutes, and I chose Carter Hall because... It's not a real, excuse me for just a second while I grab this thing. It's not a real strong nicotine tobacco by no means. Um, but it's got enough where you know it's there. And for myself, I haven't smoked anything with nicotine in it for a couple of months now. So I smoke this Carter Hall and I can feel it, you know, but it's not to that point where it's made me sick. I just, you know, I've got that nicotine buzz, little stomach stuff going on. Um... But that's because I haven't smoked anything with any nicotine or anything burly. You know, this has got burly in it, which is the highest nicotine count. So I can feel it, but I'm not sick from it. And that's what I was looking for. You know, I didn't want to do this experiment with something like, you know, Haunted Bookshop that was going to put me on my ass, you know. But anyways, here's what you guys got to do if you want to try this. And I'm trying it for the first time, too, so we're going to see what happens. So I got this new package, a Carter Hall. I opened it up. Like I said, I smoked one bowl out of it. And I have a decent sized jar. Um, I know this holds about four ounces of pipe tobacco. Um, when I filled it up, it, it holds about four ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Carter Hall and I'm going to dump it right into this jar. There we go. And as you can see, 
fills it about a quarter of the way, which like I said, it takes about four ounces. Um, throw that packaging away. And now comes the part that's going to freak you out. Because I know it freaked me out. But here we go. I have a measuring cup here with two cups of distilled water. Here's the tobacco. We're going to pour that water right in with that tobacco. There it is. So now we've got tobacco floating around in two cups of distilled water. And we're going to put the lid on. It's going to shake it up. And there it is. Okay? Now you're probably wondering why the hell did you just waste a whole ounce of Carter Hall tobacco? Well, according to this guy, that told me about this and according to the video this process of doing this, letting this soak, now this has got to soak for eight hours but according to this process it's going to remove all the nicotine and all the nasty stuff from that tobacco and when it's all said and done um, that tobacco should be the water in there should look like used motor oil um, and then we're going to take it and I've got a regular household kitchen strainer here and we're going to strain that tobacco into this strainer and then we're going to rinse it with some clear you know some more clear distilled water and uh, then we're going to spread it out on some paper towels and let it dry for however long it takes to get it dry so that we can smoke it again so I'm going to let this sit for about eight hours and here's what it looks like now you can see the water's starting to turn a little brown color. Most of the tobacco's floating, but some of it's sitting on the bottom. But you can see it kind of looks like tea right now. So we're going to let it sit for eight hours, and we'll take a look at it. And after this whole procedure's done, um, I'm going to smoke another bowl of it and see if I get any of the effects of nicotine at all um, after this process is done with. And um, if it works, then I'm going to move on to some other blends that I enjoyed smoking that I had to give up because of the nicotine. And if it doesn't work, which I was told it does, but if it doesn't work, I'm only out a couple bucks for uh, a package of Carter Hall. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll be back in about eight hours, and we'll take a look at how nasty this water looks. And... Uh, We'll take it from there and see what happens. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk with you in a little while. Take care. Alright guys. <clears throat> I'm back here eight hours later. And we're going to take a look at this tobacco. Um, you guys are going to be shocked by what you see. Um, right now I'm smoking this pipe that was gifted to me by Mark, Bremen Pipe Smoker. It's a pipe from France. It's a 9mm filter pipe. And uh, in it I'm smoking my Frog Morton across the pond. Which I have actually grown to like an awful lot. It's a good blend. I like it. I really do. But anyway, let's get on with this thing here. So I waited the eight hours, and um, you guys remember that jar that I put the Carter Hall in? Well, what I did is, let me get what I got here. I got this straining, there's the tobacco, and I've got it in a stainless steel bowl. Um, I pretty much, I'm not getting anything out of it anymore. Uh, as far as anything dripping out of it, but you know, it's just a soggy mess right now But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tobacco And I'm going to take this roll of paper towels Lay the paper toweling out Take the tobacco make a real thin layer on there kind of pat it dry as much as I can 
uh, and then just let it sit there and air dry probably a couple days I would say maybe one day I don't know I have no idea how long it's going to take <clears throat> but we're going to do that um, let it dry and uh, after that we're going to smoke it again and, and see what kind of results we get from it um, now I wanted to mention to you guys that might be wanting to try this probably not many of you will until you see the results but uh, obviously this kind of thing this kind of uh, uh, deal is not going to work for any tobacco that's got any type of casing on it or you know flavoring or any of that stuff um, you know because it's you know it's going to wash all that casing away um, and you're probably going to land up with a big old mess you know this is probably I mean well, it's not probably this is this is only going to work on on a, a natural like English uh, non-aromatic um, tobaccos so all right let's take a look at the jar after eight hours and like I said you guys are going to be shocked when you see this check this out look at that it's exactly like the guy told me he said it's going to look just like used motor oil and son that is as black as could be that's like tar black so just think and that's from a one ounce package of Carter Hall um, I don't know what's in here I have no idea but I sure as hell wouldn't want to drink it um, and after looking at this boy I'll tell you it's it's you really gotta seriously think about what you're smoking you know um, I would I would love to take this to a lab and analyze it and see just what is in it um, you know besides nicotine just just because um, because the thing that really amazes me is even after all that nasty looking color has come out of the tobacco as you can see right there it really hasn't changed the color of the tobacco from when I originally put it in the water it still looks the same color as when it came out of the package you know the original Carter Hall packaging so I'm wondering just what it is um, that's in there but anyhow I'm gonna let her dry and uh, that's gonna take a while but after I get her dried out we're gonna put it uh, put it into a bowl again put it back into that pipe smoke it and uh, we'll see what kind of deal we come up with if it's uh, if it's good bad or ugly so all right thanks for hanging in there and I'll see you guys again when uh, when it's dry and we can smoke it all right I'll catch you then take care all right guys I'm back here and uh, I've let this uh, this Carter Hall tobacco dry out on a paper towel and let me see it's been it's been about 20 hours I think since I uh, since I spread it out on the paper towel and I'm gonna grab it here because it's dry now but I'm gonna pick this up and show you guys um, what it looked like here on the paper towel you can see all that brown stain on the paper towel there but that's what it looks like and now it's a uh, it's dried out just about right you know it's not bone dry but it's it's perfect you know it's got just that right amount of moisture like it would come out of the uh, original packaging <coughs> excuse me and um, I've been smoking this bowl here I got you can see I've been smoking it I've smoked about a quarter of the bowl of it and the one thing I will say is is um, it has not lost any flavor whatsoever which is amazing to me but it still tastes exactly like the Carter Hall before I put it through the through the wash <laughs> as I like to call it but uh, here's that jar again right there that's what came out of that one ounce package of Carter Hall um, and that stuff is jet black it's just like that guy said it would be but I haven't lost any flavor um, it dried itself right back to the normal way it was um, 
the one thing I can say about it is it's not it's not as sticky you know as it was now it's it's very uh, it just feels light and fluffy you know what I mean it doesn't have that sticky feeling that tobacco has it's just very light, airy now, almost like confetti. That's the way I could describe it. If you took like just a, a bag of loose confetti, that feeling, you know, with a little bit of moisture, that's what it feels like now. But the flavor is still there. And here's, here's the best part. I'm not feeling anything from the nicotine at all. Yesterday when I smoked this, uh, you know, I smoked a pretty decent amount of it. And I smoked it pretty rapidly so I could get, you know, see what the effects would be. And like I said, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get a real bad nicotine kick from it, but I could feel it, you know. I knew it was there. Um, it's not a heavy nick blend to begin with, but there's enough in there from the burley that you can, you can feel it if you're not used to smoking it. So I got, you know, pretty decent little rush from it little bit of stomach nothing major but I knew there was nicotine and now I'm getting nothing nothing at all so it works you know it really works which I was totally blown away by this experiment I never thought in a million years you could soak tobacco and wash it and and uh, get it to come out like this but the flavor's still there. It's a little bit mellower, but it's just, it's, you know, it's just, it's awesome. I, I'm really happy. I'm thrilled with it. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting some other blends now that I had to take off my list and go through this process with them and see maybe if I can, you know, uh, be able to smoke that stuff again. And I really have no idea. I'd, I'd love to know. I would love to know what this is, you know. I mean, it, it, didn't, it didn't change the color of, I mean, here's, here's the tobacco. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. If it'll focus in. It didn't change the color of the tobacco. I mean, it, the, you know, it's still the same color as it was. So I don't know what is actually in that black water. Um, I would love to find out if any of you guys know how I could find out um, you know you'd have to take it to a lab probably and pay them to to check it out for you and see what's in there but I'm happy with this experiment it worked well and like I said the uh, the guy that did this originally he said it worked for him and the other fellow that gave me the link to that video he said it worked for him and uh, it's worked for me so I'm pretty pleased with that. So a lot of you guys that are sensitive to nicotine or, you know, are trying to watch the nicotine or shouldn't be using the nicotine, this is an option for you. This is a way that you can uh, take a lot of that nicotine out of there and uh, maybe smoke some of the blends that you no longer could or wish you could, you know, but, but can't uh, because of the high nicotine levels. So, all right, guys, I hope this uh, experiment has helped you out. Um, I know it's taught me a lesson, and uh, I'm grateful for, you know, the tip that was sent to me to do this. So, give it a try, you know. Um, give it a try. Tell me what you think, if it works for you. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is don't do it with any aromatics or anything with casing or toppings on it, because obviously it's going to wash off that way. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I think it's a good deal. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate you hanging in there with me on this one. And uh, we'll talk to you again the next time. All right, be well.